together. Hello, <laughs> uh, Toastmasters. My name is Heidi Major, and today I'm an icebreaker. I would like to start off with a quote by Thomas Jefferson. I never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy as cause for withdrawing from a friend. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to when I'm six years of age inside of the playground at school. I am talking to my friend, Jeff. <laughs> hey, hey Heidi, how are you doing? Hi Jeff. What's, uh, I was always curious, what is your religion? What's your religion? <laughs> um, are you Christian? What's Christian? Are you uh, Buddhist? What's Buddhist? Uh, God. You're Mormon. <laughs> well, that's all that's left. <laughs> Empowered with my new identity, even though I didn't really know what a Mormon was, I went home to ask my mother, what is religion and what is Mormon? She's sitting over at the dinner table inside of the dining room, and I come up to her, and I say, hey mom, um, so I found out that I'm Mormon today, could you tell me what's Mormon? She looks at me, and this is when I get really nervous because of the silence. Just wishing oh, there was only like a little box that could tell me all the questions, <laughs> answered all the questions that I have that rhymes with Chinese noodle. <laughs> you are not really, um, my dear, you don't really have a religion. Your father and I decided that we weren't going to raise you with one because your father is Christian and I'm Buddhist. And we half people inside of the world that are Buddhists believe that it's religion, and the other half believe that it's a philosophy of teaching things. A religion is something that um, explains to you what the world is like, how it was created, and also gives you a set of values to go about in your everyday. Um, we think it's really important for you to understand um, good moral values such as, and you hear this all the time, be responsible for yourself, do unto others as they do unto you, and family. So if you couldn't guess already, my mother is Chinese. <laughs> she, and Chinese mothers are very terrifying. Don't go against them. I'm sure that's the same with other mothers too. Um, so even though my mother is Chinese, she wasn't born in Taiwan, I mean China, she was born in Taiwan. This is because my grandfather was a general inside of the Nationalist um, Party inside of China and fought in the Chinese Civil War against the CPC, the Communist Party of China. From here, he fled from China over to Taiwan, raised his family, and then my mother um, wanted a good living for his family and therefore sent his mother, well, my mother, <laughs> to America. At the age of 16, so when she met my father, she was about 19 years of age. She broke her bicycle over at the side of the road in California, and my dad helped her um, get to the bicycle shop. So she's a first generation American. My father is a second generation American. His father, my grandfather on my father's side is German, and my grandmother is Swedish. And so I was raised with a very multicultural family that introduced me to a lot of different value systems, religions, ideologies. And I really, really appreciated being raised in this environment because it taught me how to um, not really put, it taught me to not put labels on a person, to not put labels of uh, their faith or their philosophies or their ideas, but to appreciate the value, to respect their, their, um, how they were raised and what they believe in. And so, let's see here. So as Thomas Jefferson would say, that it's a very important to um, be considerate of different points of views regardless of philosophy and religion and politics. 
and this has kind of been, and my family showed this to me by raising me inside a, a very different view set. So you see my dad was Christian and my mother is Buddhist. Thank you very much.